Hey guys, what is up? It is your girl here, Misty Diaz, and thank you so very much for tuning in. So today I am gonna talk about some skincare, a routine that I have been really consistent on. This is probably the most consistent I've ever been with something when it comes to my skin. Um, so about a year and three months ago, I came upon, I have no idea, upon this clay mask, and I talk about this a lot in comments, but this is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay Mask, and it says it is the world's most powerful facial. So I actually found this, um, I wanted it like right away instead of having to wait for two days shipping. You can find this on Amazon for like seven bucks. I happened to find it at um, Sprouts. You can find it at Whole Foods and Mother's as well, and any like natural food store. So it is 100% natural clay, calcium betone clay. Sorry about that. And um, this I know works for numerous things. I only use it for my face, but I will read the back of it. And I have done, if you go on Google and type in Aztec clay mask, you'll see, especially on Pinterest, numerous ways that this can be used. Um, it says facial, acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, um, and it says, uh, enjoy the benefits of clay in your own home. And it says, see, this is where I like to put my input because this is what has worked for me. And again, you can go to Google and type in Aztec clay mask and the benefits. And you can also type in what is best to mix with this. What I have personally found is best to mix with this is the apple cider vinegar. This is just a store Winco brand of apple cider vinegar. And it says on the back here to mix with um, water, but it says stir the mixture well into a smooth paste. So you don't want it to be runny, you want it to be like a paste. But I found that with these two together, that the apple cider vinegar pulls out the toxins from your skin, which kills the bacteria and acne and stuff on your face. But you have to be consistent with it. You can't put it on once and expect for it to happen. So I'm gonna show you what I do and the before, so I have a little bit of makeup on, I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna take you through the process. I do this about once to twice a week. I was doing this as a spot treatment. So I would mix a little bit in my bowl here and if I broke out here or wherever, I would mix a little together and I would just put it on the spot overnight. And by the time I woke up, it had diminished significantly. So um, I use this at, I got this, so I found this at TJ Maxx for $5.99. That's a hit or miss, just FYI. So I'm gonna mix this right now into my bowl. And I usually have a little, using my finger. I usually have a little scooper and this little bowl set with the um, spatula, the mixing spatula, the brush, and the scooper that I have I got off eBay. You can also get it off on Amazon for $7, about $7.99. So there is, just type in, um, what do you type in? Like facial kit. And it has cute little bowls. So I don't measure. So you really just need to be very careful about how much you put. So I am going to, let's see if I can take you guys here. So I am going to, just mix it and kind of just play around with it. So I need a little bit more. And then once I mix this, I'm gonna take off. Let's see. So once I mix this, I'm gonna take off my makeup. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make this into a clay and we're gonna do that right now. So you want it to be very clayey, not too runny. And this is looking great. There we go. I'm gonna be using my Perlise, the Watermelon Energizing Makeup Remover Wipes. And I am going to be using what I love, which is an old school ponds and this is the cold cream cleanser. You can keep this in your refrigerator. Okay. 
on me and it's gonna dry pretty quickly. Um, I will say this, it is gonna dry your skin out and what it's doing by doing that, and I'm gonna put some benefits in the video as well. I'll attach some photos and information, but it's gonna dry out all of the acne or any of the problem areas that you have. Um, my skin is pretty clear. I filmed a video on some of the skincare things that I do, and what I had done recently was the Vampire Facial, which they pull um, the plasma, they draw my blood, and then they use the plasma, and they inject it, uh, microdermablasia, into my skin, and that helps create collagen stimulation, and it also gets rid of, like, big pores and acne, um, so my skin is pretty good, but it wasn't always like this, and it's taken a lot of consistency. So what I notice when I follow people on social media um, is they, you know, use all this skincare, but I never see them with the routine of the same products. Now, I know I get sent stuff and companies, you know, from time to time will send me masks and stuff, but for the most part, I have a consistent routine. And for the most part, you know, I do facials. I get them done. I don't believe that, you know, that is something that I shouldn't do without. Um, you know, it falls under taking care of yourself. So, like, I've noticed such an improvement in my skin by the Aztec with the Aztec clay mask with the apple cider vinegar. And again, if you just have a spot here or some acne here or here, just put it in that spot then if you don't want to do, if you don't really want that dry skin, say you've done this mask once but you broke out the next day, um, just use it as a spot treatment. And um, so we're gonna do this. And we're gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna show you guys the moisturizer one of the moisturizers that I used, I use a nighttime, but for this, since I know my audience is different people and I don't want to showcase things that are expensive, I want to showcase things that work that are for people on a budget as well, because I don't believe that you should have to expend expensive, uh, buy expensive things. So... We're just gonna go a little right here because for some reason I tend to break out just a little right here. And then I'm really gonna put it on my laugh lines because I don't want them deep. I don't want them deep. Okay, so after 15 minutes, after I wash this off, my skin is gonna be very dry and it's gonna be a little red. And the reason why that- I can barely talk. <laughs> so as you can see, it's starting to harden. So when it's starting to look like this, it's time to take it off. So I just want to mention a couple of benefits for this Aztec clay mask mix with apple cider vinegar. It helps acute scars. It also helps uh, clean out your pores and it naturally exfoliates your skin as well as brighten and evens out your skin tone. I do everything I can, especially when I get hydrofacials. I am like, please... Let's focus on making my skin clear, clearer and more brighter. So as you can see, it's hardening. Um, it also evens and uh, tones out your skin. It also tightens your skin, as you can see. Um, and it removes any dead skin and cells that are on the surface. So I'm going to wash this now. And then I'm going to show you my skin afterward. And we're going to put on a great moisturizer. <laughs> okay, bye. So I just washed my face, as you can see it's red. And the reason why it is red is it's because it's bringing the blood to the surface while absorbing the impurities from my skin. So again, this is 100% natural. You literally cannot get any better than this. Um, so again, I've stuck very consistent with this for a year and a couple of months. Um, I would recommend the Honest Beauty Hydro Cream, Hydro Gel Cream going on after this you can see i have been using this for the last three months so i'm going to stick to this and this is a day and night cream so we're gonna just put that on and that's it guys 
have bad acne, I would say twice a week. If you have a breakout during the twice a week, do a spot treatment overnight. Just apply a little in the breakout area. And then once you start seeing that your acne is diminishing, go to once a week with spot treatment if you have breakouts. But again, you are not going to see results unless you are consistent. I see people, again, who try all these different products and they're using all these things and they don't allow their body and especially their face to build a consistent routine of working. And I don't really understand how you expect your skin to work with you if you're trying all these different products. So I have all my stuff here. Like I, you know, I have like um, next to my bed, I have my sprays, I have my, you know, I have some of my pixie stuff, which is, you know, hydrating. If I'm feeling extra dry, I'll wait for my night cream to go on and then I'll put that on. So um, again, stick with consistency. And here is my skin. And the redness will go away in like a few minutes. So it's not going to be like this forever. Thanks, guys.